Okay, let's take a look at page 44. And we're looking at activity 10. Activity 10 is using the word or to show a possible negative result. And uh, before we listen to the dialogue, let's take a look at the gray language focus box. Okay, let's look at the language focus box. A uh, language focus is or and will to talk about safety. Use or and plus will to show a possible negative result. So you see a command at the beginning. Example, feed her. And then you see a negative result. Feed her or she will be hungry. Feed her or she will be hungry. That means feed her now. If you don't feed her, something bad will happen. She will be hungry and then she will probably cry and she will be cranky and she won't, she'll be fussy, all right? So let's take a look at the sentence. We have a command, then we have or, and then we have a result. Let's try it. Feed her, or she will be hungry. Strap Eric in his high chair. Or he will fall. Close the gate. Or Kimmy will run outside. Clean up the water. Or my socks will get wet. Put the skateboard away. Or someone will fall. Okay, so these are good things that we need to tell to uh, tell our children, right? Because sometimes they don't put the things in the right place and they need us, adults. We have to be responsible for helping keep them safe and tell them and teach them some good safety ideas. So now we're going to listen to the conversation between Betsy Porter and her daughter, Susan. Activity 10, using OR to show a possible negative result. Conversation model. Betsy Porter is talking to her daughter, Susan, about safety. Bad things may happen if they aren't careful. Read the conversation below. Underline OR and WILL. Susan, please put the skateboard away or someone will get hurt. Get hurt? Yes, or someone will fall down. They will get hurt. We keep the skateboard in the garage because it's safe. Oh, okay, Mommy. Doesn't she sound so cute? Yeah, so sweet. Okay, so let's look at the, the, the sentence structure first and then we'll practice pronunciation. So the first thing we want to look at is what do we underline? We underline or and will, all right? So you see or and will in those, uh, in a couple of sentences, then we learn how to use those sentence structures. All right, let's practice the dialogue this time. I'll play it and let you listen. Activity 10, using or to show a possible negative result. Conversation model. Betsy Porter is talking to her daughter, Susan, about safety. Bad things may happen if they aren't careful. Read the conversation below. Underline or and will. Okay, we did that part. So now I'm going to pause the video, the audio for you, and you're going to repeat each line. Susan, please put the skateboard away or someone will get hurt. Susan, please put the skateboard away or someone will get hurt. Get hurt? Get hurt? Yes, or someone will fall down. Yes, or someone will fall down. They will get hurt. They will get hurt. We keep the skateboard in the garage because it's safe. We keep the skateboard in the garage because it's safe. Oh, okay, Mommy. Oh, okay, Mommy. 
That's so cute. All right, how about you practice with your partner? One of you is the mommy, and one of you is a little girl. Go ahead, practice. <laughs>